Hello and welcome back, my name is Dan and today we are playing Risen. On today's episode we will keep helping the city guard with getting rid of Don's men from within the city walls as they have promised to help me become a mage later on in the game. So this is Marcelo, he's one of those city guard people and I believe he has an issue with one of the Don's men. Another new face. Welcome to the merchant district. Are you looking for work or trade? I'm looking for work. I need to help you so that you will help me. Do you have work? We need all the help we can get. Any help in particular? The outlaws here are staying undercover. But they're still pursuing their dirty business. So I've heard. I'm certain Weasel is still one of the Don's men, but he spends all day sitting on a bench. So? Weasel is no saint. He used to run a protection racket here before the Don left. He's not doing that if he's sitting on a bench. A spider sits in its web, but it's still got murder on its mind. He's planning something, but I need evidence to stop him. You're new here. If you could talk to him, gain his trust. See if you can get evidence of his misdeeds. I'll see what I can do. Good. Good. Okay, so now I'm guessing we have to find Weasel. And he's supposed to be sitting on a bench somewhere. And I believe I've just walked past somebody wearing Don's Men's armor sitting on his bench. Here he is. It's quite funny how apparently... Don's men are supposed to be so well hidden within the like the public of Harbour Town, but really they're really that they're really just not. Look at the armor, you can just tell that he's one of the Don's men. No. I'm not giving you anything. Do I look like I want something? Everyone wants something. Money, usually. You're one of the Don's men. Nothing gets past you, does it? So what's going on here? Not much. Can't do anything while those scum-sucking white robe bastards won't let me out of their sight. Why are the white robes watching you? Well, because they know I hate them. And they think I'm a thief. And are you? Of course not. I even used to offer protection to the merchants. And get paid for it. That's how business works. <laughs> and now, now, Carlos is just waiting for me to give him a reason to banish me from the town. But I won't give him the chance. I wonder if he actually used to work like a bodyguard, like a security person, and not as a bandit, but I guess we'll never actually go into that great depth of his detail. What do you know about Commandant Car Worry he and me. I could help you. How? Let me join you. I'll work for you. Why? Why should I even trust you? This town's full of spies and collaborators. I am definitely not one of them. No, 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 no. If I fail. You know what you'd be getting into. Don Esteban hates people who try to cheat him. And so do I. I could work for you. This here is the Fat Cat's quarter. You don't just go from door to door collecting protection money. Those white robe bastards are everywhere. And they see everything. So how does it work here? Before I show you the tricks, you'll have to do something else for me. What is it you want me to do? Don Esteban controls most of the Bruegel on the island. Leonardo, the alchemist, he processes the harvest. Then Garth, the alchemist's assistant, brings it to us. But recently, some of the goods have gone missing. So, somebody's taking it. Do you suspect anyone? Garth. I think Garth's behind it. Why don't you punish him? I can't risk those infernal white robes finding out. And even though Garth is a coward, I don't know if a beating will make him talk. How does the brood movie get into the town? You don't need to know that. What if the goods are disappearing on their way in? No. When Leonardo gets the goods, they're complete. What do you want me to investigate? Garth is too stupid to do this on his own. Somebody's paying him. You follow Garth when he delivers the weed packages. And when he meets his partner, you his beard is really uneven. Like that bit here is like a bit more to the right side rather than in the middle. He needs a new barber. That's what you need, Weasel. Not to look into this weed stuff. He needs a new barber. I'll follow Garth. Good. Garth works across from here in the Alchemist's house. Stand next to me or behind me so he doesn't notice you right away. He's a nervous sort. All right, let's do this. I'm ready to follow Garth. Garth's leaving. Give him a bit of a head start, then follow him. 
Keep your distance, but don't let him out of your sight. If anything goes wrong, come back. Okay, so here he is. We'll just follow him very slowly. Just walk behind him. Hey, sweetheart. Oh my god, what? Now? How about I make a real man of you? Oh, for fuck's sake. Not right now. Loving, you'll never look back. He's going away. Fuck, I'm not interested. Sorry, just go I'm away. Come on, love. How fuck's long has it been sake. since you had a warm I've lost him now. Just get rid of her now. Did you not understand? All right, all right. Can't blame a girl for trying. Yeah, but you can blame her for fucking up my quest. All right, where is where is Garth? He's gone this way, so he's gonna be up the stairs somewhere. Um, left or right? Oh, there he is. There he is. I think. Okay, good. I should have really just skipped through a dialogue, <laughs> but that wouldn't look right on the video. I don't think. If you've got dialogue, you've got to show it. Oh, fuck. So he's going to cut her. Our swordmanship teacher. That's not very good. I can't beat both of them. Especially not cut her, knowing that he's like a swordman. Alright, let's quick save and see what's going to happen. Hello, you two. What are you doing? Oh, crap. What do you want? Did, did you follow me? No. It really wasn't hard. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Yeah. I seen you about. Nosing in everyone's business. People don't like What is it with these people? And the <laughs> terrible fucking beards. People like that gets hit by people. Hand over the packages you took. Sure you want to do this? Absolutely. Then you leave me no choice. Oh, fuck. Gar get him. Shut his flapping mouth. Time for a little. Well, both of them. Fuck me. That's not gonna That's not gonna be good. Well, I've landed the first hit on him, so that's not too bad. But I can't imagine this going very well. Thank fuck I quick saved. Actually, it's not going too bad. Thinking about it. That is not I'm actually necessary. doing this. <laughs> I'm actually not doing too bad. Both of them are about to go down. Alright, everyone's just watching the fight now. Best event of the week. Yeah, I literally just came to this town yesterday in a game time, and uh, I've already had a fight with four people. Oh shit! Run! Need to run away! Need to run away! Go! 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 Heal! Heal! Okay. Heal another potion. There we go. Most of the things I'm saying on this video today are not making any sense. Heal another potion. Yeah, obviously. Well, Garth is down. Now it's just you. I'd say one more hit and he's down as well. Oh, maybe two. There we go. You again. Fuck off. Now, take all of the shit. And your shit. And your shield. And your rusty sword, even though I don't need it. And your rusty sword, even though I don't want it. <laughs> Let's see. We've got another wooden shield. Okay, I've got, I've got this shield. This is much better than the ones I had before, so that's all good. Where is it? Large packet of weed. Smells enticing. Let's have a word with Garth and tell him off for being a bad boy. Now let's hear the truth. It's Cutter's fault. He made me do it. He did. He did. He wanted me to set aside some weed for him, just a bit. What did he give you for it? Me and some gold, but it wasn't much, and I haven't any left. Please don't tell Carlos. I couldn't hack it in the monastery. I'm not cut out for it. I have allergies. <laughs> Just get out of here. We are now going to uh, Marcelo. Here is a problem, though. If I give the package to Marcelo now, that Weasel will be kicked out from town or locked up, whatever. Either way, he's not going to be my friend anymore. That means that he will not teach me how to be a thief. And something like sneaking and lockpicking is very important. So I'm gonna just quick save and see if he can teach me anything now. If I just tell him that Garth is working with Cutter, Garth's maybe that's gonna be enough Cutter. to kind of Cutter. make him happy enough. He lets us pay him to so the point where he teach me. And then he steals from us. That bastard had sucked bog bodies if he thought there was money in it. What about the packages? Did he have them on him? We need those packages. Oh god. I can't give you that, sorry. Okay, so let's go to Marcelo and um, give him the package. These packages may interest you. What's this? 
My, oh my. That is a lot of brutal weed. The packages are weasels. You wanted proof? This should be enough. This is more than enough. So he'll be sent to the monastery? Weasel as a recruit? Every man would have to watch their back. No, it's enough if he leaves town. Let him crawl back to the swamp. You found the evidence. I hope you can be counted on to make sure he leaves. Why not lock him up? He just he just went, oh yeah, he's my enemy, but I'd rather just go back to the rest of our enemies so that when they strike, they're going to be stronger. It's like, fucking lock him up, you dickhead. Alright, let's tell him the bad news then. Marcelo has got the packages. What? The Don's going to be pissed off about this. Really pissed off. Leave the town. You get one chance. This is my town. Ah, town. You'll never be rid of us. We'll be back. Is he gonna leave? Can you... What? Okay, so he's not gonna teach me anything now. Fucking great. It's not like I'm gonna need to sneak or lockpick anything. Oh, alright. Well, I guess this is a good point to end this video now after finishing this quest. And, um, well, I hope you liked it. And if you did, don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, comment down below, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then... Bye-bye.